Hey, LaGray family, where does our help come from? Our help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, and our help is in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the same yesterday and today and forever. Just this morning, I was talking with one of my colleagues at church about how I have not wondered about God's presence over the last year or about his care or about his attentiveness to me or to us as a church, but I have felt as though my appreciation for um, seeing through a glass darkly in this life has increased. I'm more aware after the lived realities of the past year of limitations to my knowledge, to my, my clear perception of um, God's voice. And um, I would love to be able to see God's face, to be able to see where his eyes are looking and to be able to walk toward the direction of his gaze um, with greater certainty and with greater clarity than I think is possible this side of the new creation. And um, as I was thinking about that this morning, as I heard myself say it, it reminded me of the things that have happened in the last couple of weeks that have been certain and that have been causes for gratitude. So when our hearts are sad or when our hearts are heavy or when um, we don't fully understand what's happening in the world around us, sometimes it can help to call to mind the things that do not change. And um, that is what some of you actually, LaGrave members, have done for me over the past several weeks. It seems like at just the right time in the last little while, some of you have reached out with a phone call or a text message or an email that um, just gave a fresh infusion of encouragement to me. And so I wanted to reflect with you today on uh, verses at the beginning of Philemon. Paul writes this, I always thank God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your love for all of his holy people and your faith in the Lord Jesus. And I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Your love has given me great joy and encouragement because you, brothers and sisters, have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people. I mean that for you as well, LaGray family. Um, you have refreshed the hearts of the Lord's people seeking to serve alongside of you at LaGrave Church. And I was also captured by the sense in this passage that um, our partnership together in the faith, that Paul's hope is that partnership together in the faith may be effective in deepening our understanding of every good thing that we have uh, for the sake of Christ. So in a posture of collective thankfulness, I want to name together a couple of things that um, I think we share uh, because of our faith in Christ together, because of our partnership in that faith. We share, brothers and sisters, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, and that grounds our identity, even in the middle of confusing times. We share the spirit who guides and sustains us day by day. We share encouragement with one another by being united in Christ's love. We share in the sufferings of Jesus that we may also share in his glory. And that means that the sufferings that we experience as God's children are invested with significance because of Christ. We share in the gift of forgiveness and full and complete rescue from our sin. We share in an inheritance that can never perish, never spoil or fade. We share in one hope and one love for the God of the universe who is reaching through history to bend the arc of this world toward the coming of his eternal kingdom. And for that we say amen, so let it be, Lord Jesus. We could go on. There are other things you might name today, but when I see dimly, it helps to remember the things that are clear and the things that we share. So may that peace of Christ go with you, wherever you may be. May he shelter you through the wilderness and protect you through the storm. 
and fill you with thanksgiving at the wonders he shows you. And may he bring us all back home rejoicing face to face again once more.